Hi, this is just a um, quick presentation for Nicole from Privium Homes in Impact Homes. I'm just going to go through a couple of questions for you for your board meeting. I thought it might be nice just to have a, a video to refer to, it might make life a bit easier for you um, if there's any awkward questions that come up or anything like that. So I'm going to run through um, each question as best I can. I, um, I can't give you all the answers in one go because there's some answers that need to be answered by the TV production people um, which I, I don't know that much about so I can't really answer those questions so what I'll do is I'll, I'll reel off the ones that I can answer as best I can and then we'll, we'll go from there so question number one um, what will the production be about i.e. the storyline and the purpose of the production what is your vision of the production? Okay, so the basic production is about young couples buying their first home. So we can diversify in the future with investors and people from overseas and things like that. But predominantly, I think the main focus is going to be on the young couples that are buying the property. So it doesn't really matter what background they are, what, what ethnicity or anything like that. It's just showing a young couple um, you know where they work, what they do for a living, um, whereabouts they live, where they're hoping to live, and what they're hoping to aspire to, the reason why they decided to build a property instead of um, buy an existing property, all those sorts of things. So we might tap into things like the first time buying this grant from the government and the experience of having a house built the way you want it to be built and the design and all that kind of thing. So the, the main focus of that will be um, coming from a young couple's point of view when they're first trying to get into the market, okay? Um, what is the strategy, strategy used to obtain the talent slash customers in order to produce the show? Okay, so we are using uh, three different companies uh, to do the recruitment side, if you like, for the show. So we're using a company that's based in Finland to run a social media campaign that's specialised for TV um, work. We've got our own internal IT chap that does marketing and advertising for us as well, so we'll be using him. And then we've also got a Google um, Google uh, expert, so Google AdWords and you know Google Maps and all that sort of stuff. The sort of guy that basically. You start to Google a business and where it is and what it does and it comes up on lots of different searches. So we're going to do that. Um, we'll have a bespoke website built for the TV show with all the information about the show, um, how to get involved, what the competition is, all that sort of stuff. So we'll get all that built in the back end and then run some marketing campaigns. So we're roughly looking at around about... Uh, six weeks, maybe a little bit longer to find um, six couples. And then what we'll do then is we will vet the couples um, to make sure they can get the finance and also make sure the location they're choosing is easy enough for us to uh, find blocks of land and put packages on and so forth. So that's the basically um, how we're gonna do that. Um, What target market and how will this impact on the time slot where you're required now? We're waiting for the demographics information from Channel 10. So hopefully we should have that this week. Um, I think that time slot has been chosen because it does appeal to uh, people from 25 to 40 as far as I'm aware. And it's what they tend to do within the programme is they stick it on in, in the afternoon on a Saturday and a Sunday. So I think that's I think that's their advice based on, um, on their past experience with new shows and things like that. Um, what materials um, do you require from us? Okay, so when I had a conversation with Danny, the producer, the only thing that came up material-wise is because we can use display homes and they'll be branded and all the rest of it is all the other suppliers that might be um, uh, sponsoring the show, we're gonna need uh, some graphics off them, some digital graphics. So 
there and logos and, and things like that and information about their business so they might want to have their website um, featured in that kind of thing and, and uh, their logo so that would probably be about it um, okay let's see what else okay what are the costs involved okay so the costing is being done by Danny and his production company, so they'll send a, a, an itemized um, breakdown of the costs, um, so you can see how much it costs each week and, and how it progresses and what, you know, what are the larger costs towards the end of the shoot and all that kind of thing. So Danny's going to cover that information off for you in detail as far as I'm aware. Um, what happens if the build timeframes blows out and all that kind of thing? Um, so if there's unforeseen circumstances, what will happen is they will film different se segments and, and, you know, there'll be something like uh, the producer sitting down with the, with, with the builders saying, oh, you know, we've been rained off today and something like that. It'll be like a 30 second thing that will be added in to the, to the TV to show, to show that it's not all, you know, rainbows and sunshine, sometimes things happen. So. That'll be built into the actual production of the show and, and make it a bit of drama within the show, which is fine. That's not. A, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, and the production costs and things like that. If anything goes over or um, there is any delays and things like that, then um, the production company will cover the costs if it's if, this, if it's a few days, which it should be more than that, really. Um, the other thing is is that we will have backup couples in case anybody's sick or gets hit by a bus or anything happens to anybody. We'll have people that will have in reserve to take other people's place if anything happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, nothing's going to happen to anybody and everything's going to be fine. Um, okay. For the suppliers slash trades involved in the show, what will they get, i.e. website bonus footage? Okay, so... We had a conversation about this. Um, they've got access to as much footage as they like, uh, professionally filmed footage, they, they can do an interview. Um, but I think what Danny was sort of leaning towards was a, a three-tier system of sponsorship. So for example, if they are a main sponsor of the show, then they will have at least a couple of minutes and have a proper interview and all that kind of thing. If they're, um, you know, you know, it's all about gold, silver, and bronze level of advertising. You know, um, so if let's say, for example, at the low end of the scale, and they're running uh, contributors, you know, a couple of grand per episode or whatever it is, then um, what would happen would be their workers would be featured with their, you know, they'd have the they'd film their truck or their van or whatever with their logo on the side, and then the person doing the job would their logo on the back of the shirt something like that and they might do a 30 second intro of, you know this is um, smith and sons concreters and they're here today to put the slab down or something like that so they will be featured heavily if they're a major sponsor um, and likely if they're not a major sponsor and that is uh, your discretion on what you want to do um the main thing it can't be it's like a, a one long running advert for every other, you know, for like 50 builders, sorry, 50 different tradies. Um, it's just, it's, yeah, that wouldn't work. So it'd have to be, you know, mainstream people that are actually um, paying into the, uh, into the, advert, into the uh, program. Um, but they're welcome to have <clears throat> promo, uh, promos and things like that. And if they want stills and things like that for Facebook, we can, we can order a, photographer to come and take pictures of them while they're there on site being filmed by the TV crew that's not an issue we can organize all that for them because people might want to highlight stuff like that on their social media say oh look we were um, you know putting the slab down today and TV crew came and filmed us oh we were this you know that kind of thing so that's fine we can we can organize that um, okay okay so there's a part of this question from number six where it's sort of talking about the value received through the um, 
the advertisement and people watching the, the channel and, and things like that. Um, I broke it down into my research based on social media advertising, which is the main sort of advertising at the moment. So um, it's difficult to quantify a TV program that hasn't been made yet and its reach. So, you know, we might have 100,000 people watching per episode, we might have 400,000 people watching per episode. And the thing is, it's the ratings aren't done the way we would sort of think of them, it's more per household, so there might be four people per household watching the show on average or something like that. So it's it's very difficult to quantify, but I, I sort of went off the 100,000 as a minimum um, based on the time slot and the research that I did following that. And if you were to do uh, Facebook ads or Google, uh, Instagram, any of those sorts of things. It comes down to cost per click. So this is, it's, this isn't actually people buying anything. This is people um, clicking on your um, site and liking something or something like that. So the, the, the chances of somebody, you know, you run a Facebook and they actually buy a house from you is pretty slim. But cost per click for each thing, I've, I've actually included that within the information that I've sent you so far. But if we average it out, um, it's about $2.48 per click. So I think I did six different social media companies. Uh, like for example, Facebook was only 97 cents per click, but I think Google was quite a bit more and Instagram was quite expensive for what it was. So if we average it out that it's $2.48 per click, depending on which company you use to advertise and what sort of advertising you do. If we've got 100,000 people viewing a show and the average click on social media is $2.48, um, then that will put the value of the show at $248,000 um, per business because each business is going to be featured for you know minimum 30 seconds plus. Um, which is long enough for people to get the rec recognition and everything else. And also the credibility side will be sky high, which is something I mentioned as well um, in a previous email. Um, seeing somebody on social media is one thing, but seeing them on TV is a very different thing altogether. So it's a difficult thing to quantify, but I should imagine that um, value wise, it's much more valuable than running a, 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 a average Facebook campaign. Um, to give you an idea, just for us to get a hundred leads, um, we normally spend over two thousand dollars per month on a hundred leads, and they're supposed to be quality leads. But you know, um, that's why we've got a finance company to um, weed through them and find the people that are actually genuine. So yeah, so it, it's pretty difficult to quantify. But what I would say is that it's a high value to any business to be featured on a TV program, whether that's for 30 seconds or 10 minutes or wherever it is, it doesn't really matter. I think it's gonna it's gonna have a massive knock on effect on business and it'd be, it, it's, it's value is, is a lot more than what the sponsorship would be, let's put it that way. Okay, so, uh, yes, everybody will be featured in the credits, that's um, 6D. Um, so anybody that's participated within the show, will definitely be featured in the credits. Um, okay, so statistics wise, um, again, I'm gonna have to refer that to Danny um, because he's getting the statistics from Channel 10 and all that kind of thing, so I'm not 100% sure what the, how that breaks down. That. Um, okay, further information about the competition. So the competition is based on um, a hundred people buying properties from my real estate advisor. So hopefully buying a um, hundred impact homes or premium homes over the next 12 months to two years. So we'll have that written into the competition. Um, and it's done in stages. So once we've done 10 sales, we'll do the holiday giveaway, uh, which will be worth up to $10,000 at the holiday in Australia because of COVID and things like that you know, um, make life easier. And once we've done 20 sales, 
uh, we will switch to the car and we'll get a brand new car. Uh, we've decided which um, make and model to get as of yet, but it'll be a family car basically. Um, maybe some, some, maybe think something like a Mazda CX-5 or something. And, and then after we've done 30 sales, um, we will be doing the house giveaway. So we're gonna try and get it done, smashed out as quickly as possible. So not go to 100, we'll do it at 30. We'll still continue to go um, to the 100 off the back of the TV show and everything else, but I would like to get it out of the way so it's, it's done and dusted. Uh, as quickly as possible and we can afford to do it at 30 so we'll do it at 30 and the draw will be made by the IT company so the IT company will do the telecommunications company rather they will do the um, terms and conditions and they will do the um, application for the um, uh, sort of like, and it's not a license it's something similar to a license that you need to have um, if you're giving away anything over ten thousand dollars, so they'll be doing, they'll be organising that, they'll be organising the terms and conditions, and then they will organise the random draw for the people, and we will give them the parameters of which stage and how you know when to do the draw. So that will be based on contracts that are unconditional, um, yeah, and basically when we've been when we've been paid our commission, so we can. So that's how that's going to work. Worst case scenario, it might take up to two years for it to go through. Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be a very quick turnaround. But yeah, um, we're covering all that cost and all the legalities and everything else. So premium and impact and have got nothing to do with that. That's just something we're doing um, as, a, as a thank you back to people for, for using our, our services. And also we, we're... The idea behind it was to video the person winning the house and put that onto social media for it to go viral and to be in the news and all that kind of thing and then we want to add it to the TV program the following year if, if the TV program was successful, which we believe it would be. So that is the basic breakdown of that. So um, everything will all be above board and we're going to try and hit the target sooner rather than later. So, and the, the people that are involved within the, the hundred uh, people that do buy, probably what we're going to do as well is maybe just give them a, uh, a thank you, uh, whereby we do a free, free solar or we do a, a, a holiday weekend getaway for them or something like that to say thank you for, for um, uh, doing business with us. So I, I, I'm pretty confident we'll, we'll be able to do a bit of something for everybody because it helps us with, with advertising and marketing anyway. So we don't mind doing that. Um, okay, so, uh, let's have a look. Um, so when, after, so after the airing, when will the leads come through, when we received and export leads to um, purposes? Okay, uh, okay, right. Right, so, what will happen when the leads come through, they'll go through the telecommunications company and they'll be filtered based on people's time frame for buying properties and things like that. So if it was 30,000 leads that we got off the back of the TV program, um, we wouldn't be getting all 30,000 leads all at once. They would be staggered out you know, in order of the time frame. So we might get, we might get let's say 5,000 leads on the, when the first episode airs or something like that and what will happen is that will be then put into the CRM system the CRM system then will be filtered through to all the different agents and the finance company and what will happen is they'll be qualified for using the agents and the finance company so we're planning to do a massive recruitment drive this year um, to recruit to over 100 agents and we also will probably link up firm called Art Realty which has 680 agents as well so what it'll, it'll basically turn into will be a virtual um, call center so after airing just wanted to cover this last part um, with these questions so when the leads are coming through to you will we receive export these leads for purposes customer 
Uh, looks like audience for digital channels. When the leads come through to us, do we directly relate them from the show? Uh, will you require the leads to be passed back to you, or do we wish to for direct sales division to manage this? Um, if we look after the leads, will you require a referral fee for this? Right. Okay. So when the when the show um, when the show is aired and the leads start coming through we will be filtering the leads so basically what will happen is we will um, take the leads run them through the agents um, the agents will start to qualify the leads we'll run them through the finance to make sure that they've got their pre-approval and things like that organized once they're at a stage where we know the location where they want to buy that we know they've got the budget then we will recommend them back to you the builders so the builders then will um, have access to as many leads as, as, as that, you, that you want at any one time so depending on what your capacity is and things like that that's what will happen with the leads so you'll have access to them anyway because they'll be on the crm system but um, my advice would be not to touch them until they've been through the mill. We know exactly if the you know whether these people are genuine buyers or time wasters. So it will go, yeah, it will it will be done in sequence. And um, what I was going to say uh, was that we will do a, a massive recruitment drive before all this happens. Uh, we will be looking for over a hundred uh, agents to be working with us across the country. Or we've got another business called Our Realty now working with us where we might have access to 680 agents there as a backup as well. So if there's a massive amount of lead generation, obviously we don't want to waste um, anybody um, because everybody's a potential sale and it's a high value client. So we will um, do as much qualifying as possible. Um, the only fee that would be involved would be the commission of when a deal is done. So whatever the standard commission would be for a sale. So we're not gonna charge anybody any information for leads and things like that. We'll just liaise back and forth with you. You can tell us if this deal came off, if the client was happy, all that kind of thing. Um, and then we would just invoice the normal commission rate, whatever that might be for, you know, the, depending on what they've bought, you know, if it's a townhouse or a, you know, a two million dollar house or whatever it is, you know. So, it's all um, it's all going to be sort of filtered through um, the CRM system, through the agents and through the finance company to make sure that anybody that we do pass back to you is a quality leader, that's a person that's pretty much ready to buy. Um, also, the telecommunications company will stagger out the, um, the information as well. So... Um, if a person is not buying for six months, we're not going to get that lead um, actioned until it's ready to be actioned. So it will be put into the system, but it will be um, a task will be set up for it to be called within four months, not you know not the same day it goes in. So it will be all staggered and altered and things like that. So if we've got thirty, if we've got thirty thousand leads, and we've got let's say people that want to buy, buy you're probably going to have people that want to buy between you know one and three months time, six months to twelve months time, and so on. So it will be worked around that. So I, I reckon it, it will be like a, a virtual call center. So we'll have agents in different locations and things like that that will be um, taking calls and time and making calls all the time to um, potential clients all over the country and then it just comes back to serviceability um, so if the states there you are not you don't cover um, or different areas that you you don't want to get involved in then we'll make arrangements for leads to go elsewhere if, if they can't be covered what would be nice is if 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 you're looking to expand your business is that we grow at the same time. So if you want to get into other states and expand the business in a big way, then that's a good way to, to kick that off because you've got them genuine buyers lined up for different states that you've not worked in before. So we'd have to play that one by ear. But as I say, um, 
the main thing from from our point of view, the value add for us is is that when you um, when you're getting these leads and everything, they've all got to be genuine leads and they've got to be people that are ready to buy. We don't want to bombard you with thousands of leads for people that are just time wasters. So from our side, what we're um, aiming to do is, is to really scrutinize who these people are down to the finite detail. So when we do pass somebody to you, um, it's somebody that is, is a genuine buyer. Um, and that's the plan basically. So that's what we would be doing and we would expect to start to get leads as soon as the, the program airs really. So uh, it's a text to win competition. Um, the competition will be mentioned a few times during the show. Um, I should imagine, you know, we'll get people that are looking to buy at the moment that are like, oh, well, that's great, I'll text in. Um, and as soon as that happens, we'll, we'll We'll jump on them straight away and then start that process of filtering through and making sure they are genuine buyers. But yeah, so that would be that would be the process. Um, so yeah, I think I've pretty much covered the main points of the questions um, that you wanted to know. Um, as I say, it's in a nutshell, it's a production about it. young couples that are buying their first homes. Um, we're featuring heavily um, people that are sponsoring and involved in the build and things like that. It, and it can be anybody that's involved in the process. So we could have solicitors, accountants, um, uh, all the different tradies, all that kind of thing, the finance side. So it's got a good mixture there of different aspects of different businesses and different interactions and things like that. But it'll be that it's the journey of this, you know, young couple. Uh, they they want to buy a house somewhere. They start doing their research. They meet with us. We we take them to a display home. We talk that through with them. Um, we, we then help help them with the finance. And then as soon as everything goes to contract, then we, he basically shows the storyline is of this is how the property gets built. This is who builds it. Um, this is um, some of the pitfalls and possibilities of what what might happen during a build. And then at the end of the show, they're obviously handed the keys and we crow, we're, we're, we're crowbarring in a competition during the show to say, look, the next 100 people that buy through us, we're, we're gonna give these certain things away as a thank you for doing business. But you have to be a genuine buyer to be entered into that competition. So it's not strictly a competition, it's more of a marketing tool, an advertising tool and a cost back to us than that are straight up, you know, you pay two dollars and you're in the draw, you know, it's like that, that kind of thing. So it's not a gambling thing, it's a, it's a, if you were a genuine customer and you want to use our services as part of that, we are giving away um, a holiday and a car and a house and all that kind of thing as a thank you back to you for doing business with us. So that is the, that is the crux of, of what the program is. So it's, it's not a, a program for us to say look how wonderful we are or it's a program to build brand awareness for multiple companies um, it's a it's a way for us to do something where we might go viral and maybe put us on the map and it's a recognition thing as well with being on the television and things like that with helps massively with recognition so yeah it, it's it's not a double-edged sword it's a multi-edged sword it's a, um, a, a call to action and a bit of entertainment for people and building brand awareness and, and lots of different things rolled into it as far as I you know from the research that I've done and everything it, it's well worth having a crack at. I think it's it's one of those things that you could dine out on over the next 10 years, even if you did one show. So I think, um, yeah, I think that there's a really good potential there. And I think it's just from our end, um, we've got to really just manage the lead generation from it and manage all the back end stuff. So when it gets to you, the builders, that you've actually got clients that are genuine clients lined up and you know 
it's a good problem to have if you have got the phone ringing off the hook and people want, want you, your services to build their house. So, you know, it's, it's probably the best case scenario for anybody that is to have the phone ringing off the hook. So, um, hopefully we'll get to a stage where it all sort of fits together nicely. And you've got, you know, you, you've got enough clients where you, 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 you've never got a quiet period, let's put it that way. So I hope this has answered some of your questions. Um, it's a bit of a longer video uh, than I would have liked to have done, um, but the questions are in quite depth and some of them are a bit loaded, uh, which is understandable because you're trying to ascertain you know, any uh, potential um, things that might go sideways. Um, but as far as I'm aware, we have covered as much of the, the, the things like that as possible. Um, I'm pretty confident with with the team that are making the TV show that they'll be able to pull it off uh, to a very high standard. Um, I mean, one of the things that came across when I had the meeting with Danny the other day was that um, he gave me an example. He didn't name names, but he gave me an example of uh, uh, one guy that had paid for the majority of one show and he sold these high-end um, caravans and. Off the back of that show, he'd sold a hundred caravans, so he'd made almost a million dollars because they're eighty-five thousand dollars each. The caravans were, and I thought, well, if he can do that with caravans, which is, uh, you know, this is a high-end, unusual purchase, but if he can do that with caravans and sell a hundred of them one episode, and we're selling something that's more, uh, you know, every man thing, generic kind of product, whatever he needs a house. So, you know, there's a massive amount of potential there um, and that's where I, I can see the value in the program. It's, it's the feedback I've got from various other businesses when I run the idea past them and also previous people's experience within the industry and um, other companies. Feedback of people they know that have been on TV and things like that and what happened to them after. So yeah, so I think that there's yeah a massive potential there for everybody to, to make a, a you know a huge profit off the back of this. Um, so yeah, so I hope that's answered the questions. Um, got a very dry delivery today, um, but there we are. I'm normally a bit more jovial, but uh, I'm super busy at the moment. So, but yeah. So anyway, um, after this, if you've got any more questions or anything else comes up, then just let me know. Okay, enjoy your day. Thanks again for your time and your consideration and everything else. And uh, yeah, I look forward to working with you in the future. Thanks again.